Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode on my channel. My name is Dylan Schultz. I keep reptiles, I make art, I try to put out great videos for you guys, relatively new to the whole YouTube thing. So I have here my bearded dragons, I got my boy Philo, I got him all squared away with a new uh, customized environment and I'm currently working on Aussie, my female bearded dragon. I'm customizing everything and trying to make her environment uh, more enriching for her. So I'll be honest with you guys, my female bearded dragon hasn't been doing so good. A couple months ago I took these guys to a vet about an hour and a half away from my current location. Got them treated for some worms that they had and they were doing great. Uh, Philo here is still doing really good. His energy's back. His beard's not always real black and he's out and about and more active. But Aussie, she has come down recently within the last two weeks with what I believe to be a respiratory infection, maybe. I'm thinking that maybe while I was giving her a bath that somehow she like got water in her lungs and hasn't been able to get it out and it just turned into this big old big ordeal. So we're gonna get her packed up, we're gonna get on the road here, I'm gonna take her to Fruita, Colorado where uh, Exotic Veterinarian is located in my near area. We're gonna see if we can help her out here. So stay tuned, figure out what happens, do me a huge favor guys. Uh, I usually try to bring positive content to you guys, you know, awesome reptiles, awesome art, and shenanigans and stuff, but yeah, today is a little bit different, but uh, do me a favor because I try to put out information, just all the what's abouts about reptiles to you guys, so if you're interested, please do me a favor and go down and smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you can keep up with... Uh, everything that I try to bring to you guys on a weekly basis, all right? All right, so I'm here at the uh, Arrowhead Animal Hospital. Just got off the phone with the nurse and they're gonna come out and take Aussie in and see what is going on with her poor little girl. So I gave her some information, told her she's been throwing up. She threw up a couple days ago. She threw up this morning. So I've just been doing everything I could to just try to make her feel comfortable. I've been giving her lukewarm baths every day, making sure she has fresh water and clean food. I do that every day anyways, but definitely the baths, lukewarm baths every day. I've been propping her up, letting her sleep on a pillow every night and kind of propping her up because she seems to want to just be upwards and she don't want to be like facing down or like level. Otherwise that seems to entice whatever it is inside her to like want to throw up. So I don't know, my guess is it's a respiratory infection. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe that could have been caused somehow she got water like in her lungs somehow, too much humidity. Uh, I'm not sure, but we're gonna see what we could find out here and if there's anything that I need to correct on my part as far as the husbandry or how I'm bathing them or the overall care. I didn't exactly want to record the vomiting part because that for me was really hard to watch. I, I, I hate seeing my animals sick like this and I'm hoping that uh, I don't know, my guess they're probably going to try and hook her up with some Batril or something. That seems to be the common remedy for reptiles, use Batril to fix everything, it seems. So I didn't capture footage of the vomiting, you know, save you guys that, that, uh, discomfort of watching an animal, you know, especially the bearded dragons, it just, it just seems so much worse when they're vomiting because they're thrashing around, they don't know how to react and they don't know what's going on and they're scared. And I hate that. Hello. Hi. How we doing? Good. How are you? Good. All right. What's going uh -oh. on? Uh, this poor little girl's been throwing up. Okay. So, uh, sure, for the past couple weeks, her beard's been all black. And I'm thinking that maybe, maybe she somehow got water in her lungs. She just sounds real gurgly and bubbly when she's breathing. And she always is, like, just standing, like, straight up. 
like she doesn't want to be like level to ground or like lower because whatever's inside she's just throwing up and she's scared okay so. um does she get free roam around the house at all uh, i haven't lately just because i've been transitioning and moving usually when everything's clean and everything's kind of lizard proof uh -huh. i'll let her like free range to get her energy out she usually runs all over the place gotcha um has there been any new uh thing added to the aquarium uh, uh well, I'm always kind of evolving and changing things and trying to make it more beneficial. Like the habitat's been working a lot with like uh, foam and grout and trying to create naturalistic environments. Okay. And I'm using like eco-friendly sealers to contain, protect everything and stuff that I think is safe for the animals. Okay. Uh, so I'm just really trying to design everything in a way that'll hopefully increase their activity level and give them more enrichment in their environments. So things are kind of always changing. Gotcha. Um, is there anything that she could have ate that could be a foreign body? Oh gosh, I don't know. I do produce my own dubia roaches and Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Okay. So I feed the nymphs to those, not the adults, because the adults have the harder exoskeleton and pose mm -hmm. a kind of a choking hazard. Uh, but I give them, I feed my roaches pretty much all they eat. They don't eat their salad or anything else that I try to give them. Okay. Uh, but the dubia roaches, yeah, I give those like oranges and apples and turnip greens pretty much like you know all the things that i wouldn't want them to eat not oranges i don't give the dragons oranges i think they're too acidic fruits like that uh apples and stuff i'll try to give them okay uh but i try to make sure the dubia roaches and the feeder insects are highly gut loaded and nutritious for them at least gotcha so all righty are you okay if we take an x-ray just to see if there is a foreign body oh yeah absolutely Perfect. i want this little girl to just feel better <laughs> let's see good. all right we'll be right back thank you so much so I guess they're gonna take an x-ray. They're gonna see if there is uh, what they refer to as a foreign body in her. Get a little closer look. I should have supplied them with, I forgot to supply them with these samples I had brought, but I have them right here. So we'll just hang tight. The uh, x-rays are clear. There's no foreign body, obviously. Uh -huh. um, went ahead and uh, got the blood, so we'll get that sent out. I'm a little concerned because you did do that whole gagging, oh, yeah. almost a respiratory cough kind of thing. That's what I was thinking that maybe she had like a UT, like a URI. I don't That's know. Somehow she like got water in her lungs. That's what I wanted. The lungs look okay, but you know it's so small you can't. Right. Really I don't know out. if it's been beneficial me like because I've been giving her lukewarm baths every night. That's good. Uh, and making sure definitely she has clean water in her I think, bowl. I think what I should do though is probably hydrate her and with an interosseous catheter mm -hmm. and go ahead and nebulize her mm -hmm. with my nebulizer and start her on an antibiotic. Mm -hmm. I'd leave her here yeah. uh, for an extended period of time. Uh, until Monday or Tuesday probably, Monday yeah. Or Tuesday. <laughs> that's what it requires i just I worry mean, about sending her home she don't she looks dehydrated to me a little bit and yeah. uh she's obviously woofing back fluids too yeah i saw her actually drinking out of her water bowl the other night right, you know, but she's, how much has she vomited more quantity than that uh i mean she threw up another uh, the night before and uh it was probably about the same quantity yeah. and the mucus it's like just real thick yeah. i don't see the foreign body but i'm worried about uh, respiratory yeah that I'm worried that she like is it's gonna get like so like clogged well, up in there and she's not gonna we, be able to breathe we get, well yeah and I have oxygen if I need it yeah but let me go ahead and try to keep her if I can is that all right yeah that's fine okay um, I'm gonna have you call the 8881 number and they'll do a hospital form for you and oh. I'll get started on her okay all righty well, I appreciate it thank you so they're gonna hospitalize her they didn't find any foreign bodies uh, which is good. The x-rays look good, uh, but he's just more concerned, the doctor's more concerned about uh, the mucus and everything that's going on in her lungs. While she was in there, uh, he did notice that she was during, doing some like gargling and trying to get rid of whatever is inside of her that's upsetting her. So they're going to hospitalize her. They're going to keep her probably till like Monday or Tuesday. They're going to get her in antibiotics and fluids and stuff. So I hope that that really does the trick because I don't like having sick animals and I want to see Aussie thrive in her new habitat that I customized for her. And I have events coming up this summer teaching kids about reptiles. So I really want all of my animals to be 
you know, super healthy and thriving and no one wants no one, no one wants to see sick animals. She's got a lot of energy in her. She's a young dragon. She's only three or four years old. So I think she'll make a strong recovery, I hope. So all right, it's Sunday. I woke up kind of early, had to be at the vet clinic by nine o'clock. We're going to pick up Aussie. She's been in the hospital for two nights. They put her on antibiotics and they gave her fluids and they tube fed her and she seems like uh, she's doing much better. Doctor says that she's gonna give her, they're gonna give her another dose of antibiotics this morning and they don't see why there's any reason why she can't come home today, so. Hello. Hi there. How are you doing? Good. Have you given shots before? I have not. Okay. Do you want to come inside and I'll show you? I haven't given her her shot because I wasn't sure if you had given it because he wants you to give one on um, Monday. Oh, no, wait. Wednesday. Sorry. Everybody All right. Yeah, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube of kind of how it's done, but I could use a refresher. Yeah, to go I ahead. And... I don't care if you don't use it. Okay. So one of the vet technicians came out and grabbed me. She brought me into the facility there and showed me how to give uh, lizards a shot, essentially. So she gave Aussie another dose of antibiotics. They're doing some blood work. They're gonna have the results sent back to me on Tuesday to really figure out like what was going on, what that was that she had. She's throwing up. It wasn't a good situation. So I have another dose of antibiotics that I will have to administer on Monday. So uh, I'll probably follow up and show you guys what that entails. I've watched some videos on snake discovery, how to administer uh, shots if your snake or lizard does require them. So uh, me going into what I'm doing with all these reptiles and things, it's probably good that I learn how to do something like that because Obviously, I'm having to do it now, and like I'm gonna have reptiles in my future. And animals, they get sick, guys. They things happen, and you gotta get them seen. And uh, now I'm in the situation where I'm gonna have to stick a needle in her, <laughs> but it'll all be good. She got the one dose just now, and it didn't even look like she felt it. So, all right, and we're back. Finally, this is a, quite a bit of a long trek, but I'm glad that uh, my female dragon seems to be doing better. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, tomorrow I have to administer another shot for her, so you'll guys see what that kind of entails on Friday when I post again. I have Aussie in this 40-gallon tank for now. I probably should put some paper towel uh, for substrate in there. It's just glass. I got this thing real cleaned out. Got her hot spot, got a brand new UVB bulb, uh, got her fresh water. She seems to have energy and she's sitting up, her beard's still black. Uh, so the antibiotics we gave her this morning hopefully will do what they're supposed to. We'll give her another shot tomorrow and just be monitoring her progress. Tuesday I get some blood work results so we'll figure out exactly what's going on with her. But nonetheless, I'd say she's probably happy to just be back home and not in the hospital anymore. They kept her for two nights and we're really monitoring her condition. She does seem to be better. She's not like wheezing and gagging. She doesn't have that bubbly sound in her lungs anymore, so that's good. So the, the medicine is doing what I think it's supposed to be doing. So thanks you guys for coming along and checking out the video today. I appreciate your support. Be sure to uh, tune in on Monday. I'm going live with the Pythons and Exotics show with uh, Ball Python Love and Hostways Exotics. So that'll be probably about a two hour, two and a half hour or so live stream on their channel. Uh, go on YouTube and check out uh, the Pythons and Exotics show and it should pop up. Hopefully everything will work out. Hopefully my internet doesn't give me too much trouble, but I'm really looking forward to the interview and being able to talk, physically talk with other people who are reptile enthusiasts and make some more friends in this community. So thank you again. I hope everyone stays safe out there. Enjoy your week and stay tuned for Friday. I'll be giving you guys updates on Aussie's condition. She seems to be doing better, but I'll keep you guys posted all right. So have a good one, you guys. Peace.